Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to our weekly COT review. Today we're going to be analyzing the 36th Commitments of Traders report, but we're going to focus our attention on only one market. This is for David. Uh, we're going to talk about crude oil. David said he wants an, an analysis on it. Uh, so here we go. For those who are new to COT analysis, just joining in, uh, please note that at cotbase.com we offer a lot of educational material explaining to you the very basics of the COT reports. Uh, we show you the different type of COT reports. We give you some great examples. And of course, we have a lot of educational materials in uh, video format as well. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not yet done so. Uh, and of course, if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. So let's get started. Uh, we are going to be analyzing crude oil on the classic COT report type. It's uh, called legacy COT report. Uh, if you look at CFTC uh, and we're analyzing the futures and options data combined. Of course, the net positions is the data set that we have. You can see the net positions of these traders on the chart here. We have commercials who are represented with the red line. Uh, you can see that throughout this five year time period, they are net short, which is kind of typical for commercials um, who are there for hedging purposes. Of course, we've got the large speculators in green and then we have small speculators who CFTC calls non reportables. Of course, they don't need to report as they uh, are trading in lower volumes um, than the other trader categories. So what do we see now? I think it's going to be easier if we take off large speculators to really see, see those extremes in the market. Uh, you can see that since 23, uh, we are leaning towards the bullish side of things. Now, there was a relative bearish extreme over here in September uh, when commercials have increased their net short positions from about 200,000 contracts. Uh, to over 400,000 contracts net short. So that move signaled that there may be a bit of a top over there. Uh, now, since then, of course, uh, they uh, decreased those, those net shorts uh, down to about 200,000 contracts over here in January of 2024. Uh, so you can see in the past, uh, when do we have these bottoms happening when we have a relative or a high uh, bullish COT extreme in the market? Now, a different way of analyzing COT extremes is using the COT index. Now, before I go to the COT index, you might ask Tom, why aren't we uh, talking about the COT change signal? Usually you start off with the COT changes because we're only focused on crude oil. You can see we have a 4% change uh, in uh, commercials, net positions, 2% change in large speculators. So it's really not much to you know talk about. Uh, I do find that larger than average COT change signals uh, are the ones that can really uh, have an influence on the market in the short term. But um, that's not the case right now. We have a 4% change, so really it's not something to mention. Uh, it's really the COT extreme that we want to analyze today and understand what's going on. And it's definitely a significant extreme. 778 reports have passed since commercials were at these levels. So really, we, we really need to go back in time and uh, it's it might be hard to tell, but I think it's somewhere over here. 2010 is when commercials were at these levels, right? Uh, so uh, that's a significant extreme. It's not an all time. You can see that uh, back in 2003, we had commercials net long. Now, that's not the case, uh, but it's definitely a warning sign because we can uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this trend in crude oil continues. We see lower prices. And as that is happening, we would see an increase in the stress level uh, in, uh, in crude oil. Uh, so moving on to COT index, we can actually add the COT index to our charts. Uh, we are using a five years look back period because that corresponds to this five years chart. We're going to take down net positions. Um, and then that's that's what we see over here. It's, it's a bit easier to look at what's going on in, in traders net positions. Whenever we reach a, a reading of 100, that's usually a uh, significant you know, bullish uh, extreme. Uh, and a reading of uh, zero would correspond to a, um, uh, a low reading. Uh, we can look at a 10 years chart. Maybe that would give us a, a clearer picture over here. There you go. Uh, so um 
yeah, I mean, you can definitely see the correlation between uh, COT extremes to and tops and bottoms in the market. Now, a other way to analyze crude oil, of course, is by using the ICOT intraday indicator. If you are new to this service, I should mention that at cotbase.com, we've spent years and years developing this wonderful tool, the ICOT intraday indicator. You'll find a lot of educational material on it. Uh, I just want to show you one chart over here to explain the different signal types. So we have commercials and speculators underneath the price chart. However, it's not data directly from CFTC. This example is a one minute candlestick chart on gold. Uh, but it's uh, it's something that mimics uh, COT analysis. Um, and uh, you can see that commercial signals happen when we have a um, an extreme limit reached. Uh, and the signal is represented with a yellow diamond underneath the candle if it's a bullish signal or above the candle if it's a bearish signal. Uh, large speculators uh, signals are when candlesticks change their colors from red or green to blue. And when we have both of these um, at an extreme, then we actually get these vertical lines that we call stripe signals. These are the strongest signal types uh, for the indicator. Now, this is actually the basic version, but we've developed a more advanced version, the ICOT intraday indicator with after signal. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the different time frames. This is a uh, daily candlestick chart on crude oil. And here you can see the COT, sorry, the ICOT scores lines. You can call the red line commercials and uh, the green line large speculators if you wish. Just it's easier to understand the correlation between the signals and, uh, of course, uh, the price action. Now, what we see here uh, is just before reaching this top over here in 2023, uh, we had these bearish uh, stripe signals, large extremes in the market. Uh, and you can see the after signal catching this top. The after signal, basically, it filters out a bunch of signals, so it will actually uh, help you enter the market as you can see for instance here we get signal after signal after signal uh, but this tool would need the market to confirm the signal before you actually get that sell signal to enter uh, we have a green vertical line over here uh, from december of 2023 and then of course we get the buy signal so this is a daily candlestick chart now you might ask tom this is a intraday indicator so come show me some you know shorter time frames well we're gonna get there we're going to move over to a four hours candlestick chart. This is uh, crude oil on a four hours chart. You can see that at the very, um, uh, the most recent uh, candles over here are actually pointing uh, upwards. We have this strong uh, stripe signal, but we don't have the buy from after signal just yet. Okay, so we may want to wait for that to happen. Uh, you don't have to, but uh, the after signal would suggest doing so. Moving towards a one hour candlestick chart, this is how the one hour looks. Uh, once again, you see uh, these bottoms caught by these stripe signals. So we get these extremes from the this ICOT scores line uh, and just a beautiful buy signal, uh, wonderful timing. We also get a bearish signal over here at the top. Uh, and this one is, is just fabulous, this stripe signal, uh, and then the one over here at the very top from uh, September, um, basically a couple days ago from Tuesday, uh, you can see this top. Now, of course, you might ask, why don't we have the, uh, the, this, this red stop line coming? It's simply due to the settings of the indicator, which of course you can change, but by default, the way it works, if it catches a sell signal, uh, it will exit that once the uh, market closes four times above. And since we do not have a signal afterwards, there's nothing to act upon. So unfortunately, the signal itself would not catch this move downwards. That being said, uh, there's definitely ways to set that uh, for your uh, convenience. Now, this is a 15 minute candlestick chart. You can see how the 15 minute caught this uh, decline very, very well. Uh, and of course, we have the five minute uh, and last but not least, a one minute candlestick chart. Not that I am uh, advising anybody to use this time frame, but if you are a more dynamic day trader, then this might be something you would be uh, excited about. I should also point out that sometimes 
uh, I find in my experience that not only do the sell or buy signals help us, uh, but this uh, stop line, uh, both the red, which is of course for the sell signal, the green for the buy, uh, can act as support or resistance. Uh, this over here is a wonderful example of how uh, this stop line served as a resistance and you could have actually traded off of that. Um, so this is what I see in crude oil. Of course, uh, everybody trades on a different uh, time frame, different style, but uh, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, David, let me know what you think. Uh, I appreciate everyone's attention. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment underneath the video or send us an email to info at cotbase.com. Have a wonderful weekend. See you next time.